I think that the way I would go about being a U.S. Senator might be rather different from how most people go about it. If money was a big uh, motivator to me, I would not have spent the best earning years of my life as a school teacher in rural Maine. Hi, I'm Lisa Savage, candidate for U.S. Senate. Thanks for connecting with me to discuss today's issue. Let's talk about housing insecurity. Let's talk about mental health. Let's talk about the COVID-19 pandemic, child care, love, access to birth control, ranked choice voting. I just retired from 25 years of teaching. The families of the students I've been working with don't have adequate health care. Because working parents of school-aged children have been struggling in the pandemic, House Democrats have come up with a mammoth climate report that has a hole in it shaped exactly like the Pentagon. As a public school teacher, I've been defunded many times and I still went ahead and did my job. Um, I do think that we have a very serious racial justice pro uh, problem here in the country. I'm very motivated to uh, try to bring attention to the fact that working people are uh, getting thrown under the bus while CEO salaries go through the roof. And I think that I could really make a difference by bringing that voice to the U.S. Senate. You know, when people in Maine are struggling to get by and they don't have a voice in the Senate because every, I'm the only non-millionaire up here. And I can assure you that the wonderful people of Maine will always be my first priority. I really have no interest in taking money from corporate lobbyists and writing legislation that benefits already wealthy corporations. I want to see the wealthiest country in the world take care of people especially take care of children. That is what I really care about.